I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, guys? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG video. Once again, I want to thank you guys for all the views, likes uh, on the videos and streams that have been coming up lately. I really appreciate that, guys. You are awesome, and if you want to support the channel more, feel free to subscribe and maybe hit that join button. And definitely hit the like button because that helps more than you know. Well, anyway, guys, it is Friday for me slow day at work so I am making a PUBG video and I just wanted to talk about some of the things that I really enjoy about PUBG and maybe some of the things that I really hate all right so let's start with some of the things I enjoy um, I think one of the most I think the thing that keeps me coming back to PUBG the most is how it's kind of like gambling now I'm not a gambler in real life I only I never bet on anything I mean I, I never even make friendly bets with friends unless it's like a sure thing so when I play PUBG it's almost like the whole thing is a gamble obviously you have to have skill to survive um, but there's also things that happen that you can't do anything about I mean let's talk about third-party killing you get in a fight with another guy in solo mode or whatever mode and while you're shooting him in the face, somebody is simultaneously shooting you in the face from a position you didn't see. Even if you think that you can control this, even if you go to a house in the middle of the zone it, during phase one and you camp there in a bathroom the whole time, somebody could still see you go in there or just assume you're in there and throw a grenade in and that's all she wrote. So there's a huge luck factor when it comes to this game. Obviously you have to have skill uh, to win gunfights and uh, make smart decisions and uh, basically just know what to do. But other than that, you're, you'll find yourself getting killed even if you do everything right. And that is one of my favorite things about PUBG, is no matter how good you are, somebody who's never played the game before can totally annihilate you if you didn't see it coming. I think the second thing that uh, keeps me wanting to come back is how this game is designed to make you want that first place so bad. Even if you're doing really good and having awesome games, like for example, uh, I played for uh, at least four or five hours yesterday and didn't get any chicken dinners, but I had so many good matches, so many double digit kill matches, and I really didn't mind it. I mean, if I'm doing really good, I don't really need that chicken dinner to make me keep wanting to play PUBG. Obviously I want it, but for example, a 12 kill game where you die in the top 10, or even if it's not the top 10, hell, if you have 12 kills, you're doing good. A double digit kill game like that where you don't clutch the win is still, in my opinion, better than getting a first place with only three, four, or five kills. You know, I mean, you still get that good feeling like, oh man, look at this guy, look at this guy. Here it is in slow mo. Oh my god, what is, <laughs> what is he doing, man? I cannot believe that actually happened. I cannot believe that. All right, all right, that was hilarious. All right, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, you still get that amazingly good feeling. Uh, when you win a chicken dinner with, you know, not that many kills, it's still great that you were the last one standing, but there's something different about getting double-digit kills and, uh, whether you win or lose. I, obviously, if you get double-digit kills and you pull off the win, that's fucking awesome. That's the best feeling. But even if you don't win, all I'm saying is that it still feels good to know that you killed so many people. And what I like to do is, uh, look at the stats of everybody else in the game, even the guy that won. Like, like I was playing a game the other day and I got in a really bad position in the blue and I had to stay there because there was nowhere else to go. And this guy killed me with an SMG and from a window and I just couldn't do anything about it. And then he killed the other guy, that the second, the, the last guy, it was only three. And I went back and looked at the stats for the game, and those were his only two kills. He literally camped in that building the entire time. So a perfect example of why PUBG is actually good, because somebody like that, that was his first win too. I have to say that, it was his first win. Somebody that's never won before can beat a couple of players that have thousands of hours just because they get a better position than them, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just addicting, man, because are you going to be the one to get that good position or not? You know, I don't know. Uh, the third thing I like about PUBG is the realistic gunplay. Now, it's a video game, so it's not going to be 100% realistic, and obviously I like to play it in third person, so that's not going to be like, um, you know, 
the most realistic thing in the world either. But as far as like the shooting mechanics and the movement system, the vehicle system, the physics system, obviously there's a couple bugs in there. Like you can't drive a vehicle at 100 kilometers per hour and go on a double backflip and land and be totally okay. No, you'd probably die in real life or have some serious back injuries. But other than that, I hope you guys know what I mean. Like I love the realistic feel of this game compared to other popular battle royales like Fortnite. Nothing was wrong with Fortnite. I think it's a great game. It's just not my cup of tea. I enjoy a realistic game. So that'd be the third thing that I love about it. And then the fourth thing I love about it are bridge blocks on Erangel. Probably my favorite thing in the world to do is get on this bridge and just shoot people coming over it. Always, almost guaranteed to have a high kill game as long as nobody gets behind you and shoots you in the back. But man, bridge blocks definitely one of my favorite things that keeps me playing PUBG and I almost exclusively play Erangale just because I really like that map and I might have the possibility of getting a circle that allows for a bridge block. Anytime you know where the enemies are going to be coming from and you know which direction they have to go, you can set yourself up in a position for a really, really awesome uh, match. Yeah. yeah, 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 but you never know what might happen. Alright, some of the things I don't like about PUBG. Um, one, let's talk about PUBG on console. I mean, nobody wants to play at 25 frames per second or less. They say 30, but I rarely see that game hit 30. It usually runs around 20 to 25, sometimes even less than that. It's 2019. There's no excuse for this. I hope the next-gen consoles can handle this game, and I hope the programmers can do something to make it perform well on current-gen consoles, although that's not going to happen. That's just one of the things that I dislike about PUBG on console. Uh, second thing I dislike about PUBG is how long it makes you wait to start a match. Sometimes if you play in the morning like I do if my work is slow, it can take up to 5 minutes. Well, 5 minutes is pretty an exaggeration. I mean, sometimes it takes 5 minutes, but let's say it takes 2 minutes to find a match, and then another 2 minutes for that match to fill up, and then you get this really dumb 1 minute countdown. It's like, bro, we just waited 4 minutes for this match to find a match and for it to fill up. It's finally filled up, and now you make us wait another minute? You're literally wasting our lives. If I counted up all the minutes I've waited for PUBG matches to start, I think we would be somewhere in the days. Like, entire days of my life wasted just waiting for matches to start because of that damn one-minute countdown. And that's pretty much it. Everything else I really liked. I could nitpick a whole bunch of stuff, but it is a great game. The devs did a great job, especially for being an indie game when it came out. So it is awesome. I love PUBG. Now let's talk about what's happening here. Major bridge block. Guy down there at the other end of the bridge harassing me with a sniper rifle. I'm trying to kill him, but I can only pop his legs because he won't pop out long enough for me to get a good shot at him. And I got people driving over the bridge behind me. In pairs of two, in solos. What is going on? There were two jeeps and now there's two bikes? What, what is happening here? This guy hits the bridge block. This other guy decides to turn in close to me. He makes a huge mistake. <laughs> And he pays the ultimate price for it. Now I don't know what to do about this guy because the other guy at the end of the bridge is shooting at me. So I chuck a grenade. I'm like, let the grenade handle him. And then I decide to focus my attention on this guy. The grenade blows him up, but I'm taking hits from this guy. I try to get a shot in, but he's better than me. And then it's over. What a horrible way to die. But like I said, high kill game. It's all fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you on the next video. Later.